God, it's this nastiest deck that's literally everywhere. Okay, Shen is nice. Um, form up, Badger Bear, Deny. Thinking about what I can deny in this deck list. They run two red negations. I'm gonna kick Deny and keep Badger Bear. I will. I kind of want to keep form up. I'm gonna keep form up and see how I feel about it. Nopify. Nopify is good into like Soul Harvest. Oh, they run like Black Spear. Because Soul Harvest can technically kill my Shen, can't it? Double Nopify. Nice. That's fine. Nopify is pretty good into this deck list, I feel. Just as long as they don't do it now. Alright, sick. Yo, Yo, Shad is fine. Um, we're gonna pass here. Debating playing the Badger Bear. Uh, they didn't have anything for this before. But I kind of want to keep Nopify up for the Shen turn. So I'm not going to drop the Badger Barrier and I'm just going to chill. The balance requires a watchful eye. Master, I am ready for my next lesson. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Could have also played form up too. But like, so I go. You know, this will be the third variant here. Yeah, we're double barriering out here. Let's fucking go. We got another Nopify for the second Soul Harvest if they have it. Or they end up predicting into it. I'd imagine they're just gonna look for uh, Vaults of Helia here now. I changed the art for this too, it's cool. Drop the Broadwing into the Badger Bear, but we'll, well, I'll say. Drop the Broadwing first, though. I don't really like playing Badger Bear and tapping completely out is the problem. Wow, that fucking sucks. We're gonna play another Broadwing here, and then we play the Badger Bear next turn. This drop down to seven. I don't like long term that I can't do this fights. So you add my trucks adds rally into their Shen Dragon list to optimize for beating aggro with units and beating control with rallies. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. I still keep you stand united up as well. Equilibrium. Observe, learn. It's level Shen, which is pretty cool. I'm also kind of worried about running into like. They are under my protection. You know, um, which we call it. Nasus. Uh, let's go. They did not block with the five hive here. All right, yeah, fair enough. How have I been doing? I'm doing swell. A little tired, but swell overall. Recently got a new job. I've been unemployed for about a month now, so it feels pretty good. It's the first time a NASA player hasn't had the landmark on curve. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they always have Vaults of Helia. Okay, so like, I'm just gonna do that. Triple Sentry is pretty unfortunate. I don't think we can know provide this Desert Duel. This Desert Duel. Oh, I did watch that Majin stream, which was pretty funny. Literally never fell in the vault. The deck is just not made for him. Hey look, our valley. 
cock. Hey, look, I can play my shen, pa. I can also just like swap them, you know, which is pretty funny. Or I could just replay shen. What's the value here? I think I just replay shen. I'm pretty sure I just replay him. If I do this though, I mean, he gets a barrier, it kills a unit. Let's kill Shen, I just replay him, it's the same thing, I just get the barrier. If I don't have one of my random units die, I'll just replay him. Let's get to save up more mana as well. So I can play form up in addition to real Alice Pursuit if I need to. We gonna rally. Let's go! Very nice! Okay, you know what? I think I've been converted. I think I'm a... I think I'm a, a rally yay-sayer in... In Gen Driven now. We're gonna- we're gonna go up to two Relentless Pursuits. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even see any of my champions. How is that fair? Alright, so it's Teemo Lucian. What the hell is Team Evolution? <laughs> I'm gonna keep Shen. I'm gonna kick a rally. I'm debating if I wanna keep Nope Fire Form Up. I probably only keep one here. I'm gonna keep Form Up. Uh, actually, no, they're probably gonna. I'll keep Form Up. I'll keep Form Up, sure. I don't know why I keep keeping Form Up. I just think Form Up is a cool card. Hello, Brian. Champion strength deck list. Yeah, sure. Okay, it's a champion strength deck list. We're gonna play blocking Madger Bear on turn three, and it'll be great because oh never mind, I'm gonna play King Ku Student on turn two. It's a champion strength list, god damn it. I probably just don't even save up my cards for for a curve at this point. I'm gonna just have to find deny, right? I probably should have har mulliganed harder for Deny at that point, right? Just gonna drop the Badger Bear here because the Badger Bear blocks into a lot of what sh kind of shenanigans like they're doing. Fear. I'm like Nightmares Fear. They could also just not find Champion Strength, that's true. Scout ahead. We're gonna have to ignore Temu here because we're gonna have to kill the acorn because the acorn is kind of a probie. Oh, nah. No way, dude. Alright, this will give me an opportunity to play Shen, which is pretty cool, I guess. You know, I probably could have done this one and then Shen next, but it's okay. We're gonna get the barriers. Oh, hey, moral support, Pog. Two worlds, one balance. We're actually just gonna level Shen, aren't we? Making That's pretty dead, cool. Dead. We're just gonna, like, level ya boy, so that's sick. <laughs> oh, thank you, Infernal Shen. I love this little, cute little Kinku student card. She's amazing with Shen. You just do funny things like level Shen on turn 5, you know? I probably should have held this back, maybe? Save moral support for the champion strength? What do you mean, save moral Oh, like, so I can block the champion strength stuff more easily? I'm debating if I should keep this up, though. Because if I don't have this up, then they can just elusive me, right? Oh, I realize I can just play form up and keep this alive, can't I? Thank you, Saliva Form Up. I'm a dummy. I realized I have this form up in my hand. You know, maybe, maybe I can nobify the champion strength. How about that? No, that sucks. All right, that's fine then. If I play moral support, this would have died regardless. So. Yeah. Finding a rally here would ironically be great. Um, so they can't play champion strength. So I'm pretty good, honestly. It doesn't even matter, because I top deck deny. Like a good player. Eat it, champion strength. 
They could because of Acorn. Oh, that's actually true. Acorn did hit once. Yeah, with Acorn they could. But yeah, I'm a good player anyways, and I topped it to deny, so I'm vibing. Illusion looks good. Not a problem when you're by my side. Oh yeah, they didn't even have form they didn't even have champion strength in hand because their formula was the card that was discounted at five mana, I noticed. That being said, like what if they're not even a champion strength deck, guys? That's a good card, I'm not gonna lie. That's a really good card. I'm gonna play it. Um, Fuck yeah. I'll keep the eye up as well. Just open. I think I'm chilling. Spread like some balance. damage out here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's just attacking for like a million damage. Nopify hits a lot of the things in like the um, Tristana decks. Also in the Nasus deck, it hits like Soul Harvest, the two mana Soul Harvest. Uh, there's like one other card it hits in the Nasus deck as well. Nopify feels pretty dang good in this meta, I will say. Because in Tristana also, they've got a lot of small little one pings too. Prize fight as well. And gives plus three, so I could just do like double. I could just barrier. I could double barrier him for the ultimate Don't sauce. My Stay back. Stay back. Oh, they're trying to level the Lucian here. Okay, like, so if I double support this, this Shen, doesn't he get an extra plus three? I could also just form up. But if I mortal support the Shen a second time, I can probably just do the form up one. I think the form up one's fine. I mean, like, they can't even remove him, so we're vibing. Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. If I played Moral Support another time... Ooh, they're just going straight for the face here. I can't, I can't take... F so two draw, I can't draw five shrooms. Alright. We get there. We always get there. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll sleep when they're oh my... God, the shroom stuff is always so nerve-wracking. God damn. Oh, so double barrier does work? Cool. So I could have double barriered also and pushed for slightly more damage as well. Sick. At a cool 200 LP now. But so far I haven't hated having it in the deck list. So, okay, this is, a trump this, this is the matchup with champion strength. So here, I would actually would really like to find my deny. I'm gonna kick Kinko Student because she's likely going to die to a lot of the pings that they have. Single combat feels like it'd be pretty nice, especially into Tristana type stuff. I'm wondering if I ever keep the Green Glade Caretaker in the situation. Or I just dig harder for deny and champion strength because we're only running one deny in our deck list. Oh, actually, that's true. I remember the Demacia version doesn't really have a ton of pings, does it? I think I'm gonna kick single combat and actually just keep the Kinku student then. Because I remember the, the Bilgewater one is the one with a ton of deny. Holy Shen, what's good? The Bilgewater one is the one with a ton of pings. This one is more just about building a board and then slamming champion strength down on you. On turn like what? Sun turn six, right? What a beautiful boy. Shen stands rise up. <laughs> so do this, turn so this is turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. And in be in between that time, I'm obviously gonna find deny. Obviously. Oh 
all one Shen stand have risen? Excuse you, there's more than one Shen stand in the chat right now. I, for one, count as a Shen stand, and I know there's at least another Shen stand in the chat somewhere. There's Shen stands everywhere. You just, you, you, you could be a Shen stand and don't even know it yet, you know? It's in there. It's 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 bubbling in the soul. You just haven't experienced it yet. It sounds like a disease. It's not a disease. What if I wasn't a Shen Stan? What are you doing here then? God. <laughs> this requires my largest official hat. My largest official hat. Follow you on Twitch in this matches with me. Good luck. Hey yo, good luck. All right, I am gonna drop. I'm gonna drop you, girl, because I love her. She's just so cool, with Shen. Because you already know I'm gonna drop Shen on turn four. Temu, what's good? So we drop Shen on turn four, and then I'm gonna. Pr I'm gonna. I'm gonna protect like her or something or him. Eh. I, I assume Petroside Broadwing is a him, but like that's definitely incorrect. Then I hope he is pleased with my progress. He is pleased. You know, I'm wondering if I drag Timo or if I drag the mayor. The mayoral. Timo is pretty annoying. And I feel that I kind of want to drag the Teemo, but like, I just play the Badger Bear later. This is kind of a little bit more annoying, right? Yeah, let's do this. I'll play the Badger Bear next year if they, if they uh, develop. That'll be fine. It'll be chill. Mayoral. I love when Tristana says, very mayoral. Okay, well that sucks. Form up in this day and age, and now they have double mayor. Gross. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? So oh, wow, his mustache himself. His mustache himself. Wow. Every single interaction with Bandel City Mayor is just fucking amazing. Stands United and Kinku students, so I could be like full barriering, which is pretty cool. That is a one mana built over here, so like, ain't no way, dude. With Overwhelm, too? I'm wondering if I should have played Jeral here instead of just playing this, honing in to play this. Sacking away some of their board into the champion strength turn is interesting. I mean, they're probably champion strength. Going down to 1 HP for my Shen is okay here. Kinda don't like keeping this alive, then I'd have to stack something off on my board, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I have another one anyways. I could also put Aegis on this, and I could just give him tough right now. You know? And just not go for a draw. I think I actually like that. I'll just put the edges on him. Make him a make him a tough boy. Shan's a tough boy. He can handle it. Never mind. He can't actually handle it. <laughs> he can't handle shit. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna play my other Shen. Oh hey, look, another Shen Pog. <laughs> the eye of Twilight sees all. Then I hope he is pleased with my progress. He is pleased with my progress. I find them unworthy. Let's 
drag the Temu here. I think. Actually, no, I don't want to drag Temu. I've still got an elusive blocker, honestly. Let's drag this one here, dude. Do one of these. I kind of want to attack in with her so they force a block down. Probably just block with a blast Blastcoon Seedling. Push damage with the other three. Take six damage to face. That's fine by me. What the fuck, two Shens? Yeah, what the fuck, two Shens? I love that meme. It's from League, if you don't know. I feel like I have. I'm like. I feel like I always draw Shen, but I never draw J4. And I. There's three of him in the deck list. I just have no idea where he is. Hey, Tristana. What's up? I take point. She. Takes motherfucking point is what she does. It's fine. I've got Stan United and I've got Spirit Refuge. So they're going as a champion. They're going as a champion strength mana next turn now. She's Tristana. She is indeed Tristana. I can't deny that. I still don't have to deny for champ strength, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, the good thing is though that I feel like Shen kind of just like takes a walk all over Tristana and her Bandle City pals. Simply because they have a really hard time attacking. Like, what are they gonna do against this? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I feel like extremely fine into champion strength. In fact, my green glade caretaker doesn't give a shit about champion strength. She wants champion strength to come up. So that she can... Slap some ass. Yeah, this student- <laughs> Yeah, this green- This is not a student, no, this is a green guy caretaker literally eats champion strength for breakfast. <laughs> the caretaker card has ruined me in Path of Champions so many times. Oh yeah. What's the- There's like the one thing that always destroys me in, cha in Path of Champions. I forget which one it is. I remember I really hated the Poro one for a while. They don't have champion strength. This is breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. So, I have both Stanuated and Spirit Refuge, and I'm thinking that I'm literally just going to play both and not care about anything else. She's got Overwhelm, so I'm gonna have to block with Shen as my chonkiest boy. We also got Spirit Refuge, so we're feeling pretty dang good. Hit us with your worst. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah, I probably should have put the Spirit's Refuge on her. I don't really need to do so yet right now, though. He's blasting off! Going down to 6 HP is kind of unfortunate, but I still have health, too. So, like, yeah, pretty okay with this. This deck doesn't have over-the-top ping anyways, so... Oh, I did my best. oh, t you did do your best. It's not much you can do against a 3-mana 4-4. It's understandable. Open attack is still pretty good, so... Hey, Kenny! Feel pretty comfortable just playing this badger bear out. Just a wandering shepherd. Sick. What's this? A new flock. Flock. He gonna uh, drag Kenny with the broadwing here. Put the barrier on her. Drag Kenny. Just full attack and then get a window in with Spirit's Refuge, basically. I mean, like, even then, this is still pushing for exact lethal, so if they have a ping, then I'll just, like, play Spirit's Refuge or something. I'm like, I'm a man, so. Pog, let's go. Yeah, no, Barriers definitely does- Barrier is really good, I feel like, in Tristana decklist. I mean, at least into this iteration of Tristana, the Demacia version. 
I would imagine into the Bilgewater ping list, probably significantly less strong because they can ping down your barriers and then Tristana can just kill. But into the Demacia list, you're golden. Seraphine, Caitlyn. Okay. With Targon? I'll keep Shen because I love Shen. Obviously. I'm gonna kick the single cop as in. That's it. We'll just keep Shen. Moral support? That's fine. Broadwing on two, Shen on four, and then it will have moral support activated by then. So far, given what our curve looks like right now. It's it's a heavy moral support type hand, that's all I can tell you. How does this deck play into Zolani? I would imagine you need to try to run them down and get them to trade as much as- I would imagine you need to try to run them down before they can- their Zolani can ramp up into like a 16-16 overwhelm. That's your double single combat here. Am I finally gonna see Jarvan? We'll see! You know, maybe- maybe he'll actually show his goddamn face. They're passing with seven mana and I'm very intimidated. But, I'm just gonna draw my Shen. It's the opposite, is it really? You just don't trade. It makes sense, you just don't trade and then you just make their blocks really um, awkward maybe? Uh, I think I'm just gonna single combat here right now. Actually, I probably don't need to because I'm gonna have this anyways, right? If you don't trade, you don't kill their units, the boss will and you can kill them in two attacks. So, build up a board. One sec, let me go real quick. That's funny because I'm just gonna do this now! Alright, that's fine, I guess. We're just gonna play Kinku Student next turn. This is fine. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, you build up a board state, and then you get to a point where you can kill them in two Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really see a point in putting a damage on my Shen, especially when we've got two flash bombs in the deck right now. Kinda sucks that I'm playing this now when they get the flash bombs, but nothing else to be done about those. Hey, I'm gonna see Jarvan, so. Also, we've activated our mortal support, which is Pog. No. No! What the fuck, dude? That's just cruel and unusual. I can't be I can't fucking believe it. I am pissed. God. Okay, but like, I wonder if I should just moral support block this. I think I'm gonna do it. Understood. I'm gonna ping damage. I don't really know what their list is running, so I'm just gonna act under the pretenses that I can do that. These woods protect their own. I can't believe that flash bomb, that one flash bomb, sniped my Kinku student like that. God. This is only doing two, right? I can just form, form up this. Uh, it's gonna be a King and Jarvan turn next turn, which is pretty pog. We're gonna bank three mana as well, keep up moral support or single combat. And get a nice little attack off. I like keeping this alive, simply because it supplies pressure. And it seems like their deck isn't running a ton of removal, honestly. Anyone seen any sheep around here? I, uh, lost my... They have like the sun fumes, but eh. Yagin? This is gonna be a J4 turn. Sunburst would suck. How will my people remember me? Alright, Jarvin. How will they remember? Someone answer him! One of you! Answer his question! God. J4 
J3 and better on defense. Yeah, I was thinking about doing Screeching Dragon here and then J3 on defense, but it's fine. Like, I'll just do it. I think this is fine for one of this. I can level Martian. Fuck yeah. This is a really chonky youngling, honestly. It's pretty upsetting. Come on. Come on. Sure. Level or Jarvan, which is pretty pog. Yeah, if I played Screeching Dragon instead of this turn, I guess I could have dragged the Unicorn. Unicorn still doesn't die, though, which is the unfortunate part. Nope, fine. Alright, well, it's a good thing I have a level Jarvan coming out next turn. Fascinating. This is a round start. If I play Jarvan now, I can get a Cataclysm next turn, which is pretty cool. But, I think I'm probably gonna do Screeching Dragon now, and then just like, burst out a Jarvan. But if I play Jarvan, I actually just level Shen, which is pretty funny, right? If I play Jarvan out now, I'll get the Cataclysm next turn, which will be nice. I can Cataclysm start picking off their board. With conviction. <clears throat> Swiftly. Uh, Swiftly. I can also just get the Jar Jarvan out and then open attack too. I don't know what they have. Like, I genuinely don't know what this deck list runs. Like, I'm concerned. <laughs> What's in here? Like, show me a sunburst or something, goddammit. They haven't shown me anything. <laughs> Besides this cosmic youngling and an ambitious cultist. Alright, there we go. It's an invoke deck. Yeah, sure. Alright, that's something, right? Running Celestial Trifecta. How will I respond? How will you respond, Jothry? That's as good a notify as I'm getting as as ever. This is gonna drag the 3-5, so Jarvan's gonna drag the 3-5. Sort of these bad boys. So yeah, B Jarvan comes in with Barrier, which will level... This will level Shen, and then Shen will level and then translate, give over a barrier to the green clay caretaker. I could still be representing a, uh, a Shen spell technically. I'm not, but I could be, theoretically, you know? It's a little spooky. It's buttering. Hey, stop that. Hey, stop that. He got buffed by Shen, which is interesting because he's not technically supposed to be. Was he was the one that leveled the Shen? She also gets buffed too, yeah. Yeah, we kind of just gotta like kill off their entire board. Um hopefully they we well, need really needed to find a rally here, honestly. Not finding a rally kind of this is kind of a stink. Keywords are reapply on level up. Oh, true. Actually, okay, that's, that's valid, yeah. I could single this and then I can barrier this to kill this. There's Jarvan alive. I can kill this. This does the three of this. I could actually, if I barrier this though, it heals three. If I do this, this will kill the youngling, which is pretty annoying. And then I could single the Seraphine. I don't like that line a little bit better. Doing this allows me to kill the youngling. Um... Prepare yourself. We move soon. Kill this since this is already dying anyway, so I'll utilize the barrier to kill Seraphine. Seraphine 7 out of 9.
very nice. They've still got a full card of a full hand of cards, so we're not exactly out of the woods yet. But it's good to be controlling their board, basically. We're also gonna continuously generate cataclysms, which is pretty fun. So they're predicting what the fuck a moly? Oh Seraphine created that. I was like, why are you running that card? You know, I actually wasn't around for the time when Greenglade Caretaker had, like, an awful voice, but I wish it had been, because it sounds like it would have been hilarious. I don't know if they're GGing because they're gonna obliterate my entire board, or because I'm gonna win, and it looks like I just won. Fuck. Raise our banners! Demacia prevails! Jarvan did things! Very sick. This is a Tristana ping list, so you can see how it performs into this. Movies have you been watching recently? I watched a bunch of like time related movies. So I watched um, some movies that I watched recently were Time Crimes and Incoherent. Incoherence, I believe. They're a bit, they're smaller films, but they were both really good. And then another film that I also watched was. Uh, really quickly, let me just pick a card was um what was it called it was predestination that was a little bit more of like a big budget like hollywood movie but time predestination was another hollywood movie that i watched recently <laughs> predestination is the movie with ethan hawk in it, and it's like all these movies are like time travel related but yeah I'm gonna play blocking Badger Bear. I've got two Jarvins in my hand. Not one, but two. Oh, Oof. Time Crimes is a good movie about time travel. Yeah, Time Crimes? I, I enjoyed Time Crimes. I thought it was a good one. I can't wait to attack on turn six. That's all I can say. Uh, I played this out first because I kind of like prevent them from playing something out. Uh, what are they passing? So I'll pass. They're using barriers against this? I know, like literally them using barriers against this should actually be illegal, honestly. We are the barrier deck. How could any deck use barriers against us? God. I've actually seen a little bit of Mr. Robot. I don't think I've ever seen Stein's game. Is Jarvan good against this deck? Is Jarvan really good against this deck? I don't know. I could see it though. They just like drag their stuff, right? That's gets like the goat of time travel. Is it really? That's sick. Uh, I'm gonna block this. We're gonna force them to play a ping spell. Why? Because I've got single combat also. Um, just do one of these bad boys. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Prize fight. Meet the better prize fight. Single combat. They did get the pokey stick though. Oh god, I'm so. I am. So freaking excited to attack next turn, guys. You have no idea. Okay, rip my badger bear, but it's okay. It all makes up for it because we are going to drag this blast cone seedling. This blast cone seedling is going to stand trials for its crimes of playing with a barrier, which is absolutely illegal and should not be allowed. Eat it, blast cone seedling. This will level my Jarvan, which is pretty cool. I'm probably gonna use a ping spell, but I'm gonna play Nopify. And we're gonna be real happy. Unless I have another ping spell, then I'm gonna be real mad. But until then. Blast cone just wanted to chill. No, no, no. Blast cone? They played blast cone with a barrier. And as I've mentioned, that's absolutely illegal. Not allowed. N needs to get the hell out of here. Ain't no way. 
I mean, like, Jarvan's still alive. But then this gives them a pie, peerless parish pastry. I could just dopeify this right now. They get the, yeah, they get the, the pastry. Force them to be in another form of removal, I suppose. She also gets to prevent them from getting the pastry, too. And then I get that, like, King Jaren! The third. Next turn. If allies- oh, it's this round? Oh, never mind. I'm gonna play him in two rounds on my attack token. Perhaps they realize they've already lost. Perhaps they realize they've already lost. <laughs> Good one, Jarvin. Sometimes I disgust myself, honestly. Perhaps they realize they've already lost. <laughs> Got them. Okay, anyways. Okay, so they committed demand for that. Um, Jarvin's then they're gonna play the perilous pastry to kill this. It's okay, because I have another Jarvin. Fuck. Did I beat Mage Seeker? Nope. Still playing Mage Seeker. I've only ever played Mage Seeker on stream. So I didn't want to stream Mage Seeker this weekend, this week. But with the Runterra Open coming up on Saturday, I'm probably going to be jamming a lot of games so I can figure out what decks I want to bring. Tristana! Hey Tristana. That's good. I'm going to play Jarvan. And then we're gonna play King Kevin the third next turn. Woo! Stand with me, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. I mean they know I have an Opify in hand, so like Sing with the darkness in your heart. We keep Nopify up actually. I guess I didn't even need a draw this turn. God. Our enemies will know fear, Father. Teach them respect, and perhaps peace will follow. Thanks, Father. I want to save Nopify. I don't know what I'm saving it for, but I gotta save it for something I feel like. Pogaroni. How will they act? How will I respond? How will you respond? Tell us. I've been dying to know the answer. God. Jothry has hit the board, ladies and gentlemen. With me, now stand before me. Protect the faithful. It's pretty good. Four one trades, the four four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feeling pretty good about that. Keeping no fight up. Feeling pretty decent. And then, uh, yeah, get a really solid attack again after the scout attack. What the heck is this? You gonna kill our boy? Our boy is immortal! You can't kill him. I mean, they can see the note in my hand, so. After hoping Jeopardy, Jockery gives units scout and challenger. Don't forget challenger. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take it. They're gonna die this turn, anyways. We fight to a ragged! Then we we'll fight, fight again! again. <laughs> they need to literally like they're, they're gonna die. Like I have two I have three challengers on board. And Dryden's hitting for seven chunky damage. Very nice, GG's. This deck feels solid overall, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting that. We're feasting, according to Jarvan. 